Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm a local groomer at Little Brown Dog here in Denver. And I just wanted to kind of give some tips and tricks on what we can do with our dogs during this time that's pretty out of the norm. Anything from training, fitness, enrichment, and some grooming especially. As we all know, all of our local groomers are closed. So now we're going to talk about four things you can do at home. Ear cleaning, teeth brushing, brushing the coat, and nail clipping. Okay, so what we have here is an ear cleanser solution. I like a lot of Zymox products. You can find them on Amazon or some other retailers online or at the pet store. And in my experience, their ears do best when you just clean them regularly with a cleanser on a cotton ball and give them a wipe versus flushing out an ear. I think sometimes, depending on the dog, that can just cause some reactions. So I just put enough to keep it a little damp and I'm gonna open the ear, flip it back, and just go and give it a swoop. And I'm going about just a little bit into the ear canal, enough to bring out and swoop some gunk, but nothing to cause the dog any discomfort. Teeth brushing. It's super important, I'm sure you've heard from your vet, to keep that tartar build up to a minimum. So this toothpaste I have here is by Zymox as well, but there are a lot of different dog toothpaste options out there. And I'm just using a soft bristled human toothbrush and I just add a small amount and to really get at those back teeth I just use my thumb to peel that lip back and I'm going to just start brushing from those teeth and make my way to the front. Again I'm flipping her lips up and just making sure I get all these teeth, especially the back ones. And if you see some little bit of bleeding on the gums, that can be normal, but again, just use a soft touch. One of the most important things you can be doing while your pet groomer is closed would be brushing at home. So what I have here are two different kinds of slicker brushes. A slicker brush is gonna be rectangular and have these angled metal bristles on them. And so the other tool I would recommend would be um, a metal comb. I always go through and check after I've brushed my dog thoroughly and I use the comb to make sure I don't find any tangles and if the comb snags a tangle, I go back with my brush. I think the most common mistake is when people just brush the surface and you're not really getting at the base. So, something called line brushing is when you use a hand to evenly open the coat so you can see down to the skin and you're brushing out. Be very careful, you can brush burn your dog if you stay on the same area and brush it excessively. So I just try to move along fairly quickly and then I'll kind of come through with my comb and just check my work. So the two products I have here for our nail trimming are my nail trimmers and some Quick Stop. Quick Stop, you always want to have on hand or a product such as flour. If you were to hit the dogs quick and start getting bleeding, you want to stop that immediately by packing the surface. So, what we're going to do is use one hand to kind of just stabilize the foot. I'm going to locate how long the quick is and just trim as close to it as I can without hitting it. And you can go in little um, bits at a time. You don't need to try to go for your entire length at once. So I'm just locating where my quick is and trimming as close to it as I can without hitting it. Good boy. Thanks for watching. I hope you found these tips helpful for you and your pup. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. I would be happy to answer them and perhaps even make another video if you have any other ideas. Feel free to reach out. Thanks guys.